Hey yo everyone, welcome to a fantastic day in the world of Terraria modding. Team Mod Loader 1.4 is finally here. Keep in mind, in the bottom left, it is an alpha though, which means it is a work in progress. There's still gonna be bugs, there's still gonna be updates, but we can now officially play Terraria 1.4 with mods. What a beautiful day to be alive. But yeah, let's hop into it here. We got the workshop, boom. Click on that, click on download mods, and look at that, we get a bunch of mods available to us. Obviously not all mods are updated to the latest version makes sense it's still an alpha maybe some people don't even want to update to the alpha maybe they're gonna wait for the full release it's understandable yeah there's not too many mods to really choose from i'll grab a couple here and there i already have a couple that we're gonna check out but uh, you know might as well grab a couple more but yeah let us go ahead and hop into a world here i'm so excited to see this so i'm assuming yeah look at this we go into manage mods and then this is where we enable all of them this is pretty much just like team mod loaders ui a lot more organized it seems a lot more efficient and uh, you know go ahead click reload mods I do actually have my terraria installed on my super fast SSD I've never had it on there before the reason why is because I would have to just reinstall a bunch of stuff move a bunch of files never got around to doing that because you know you don't really need it for terraria but this time around I have done that so it should be super fast as you can see we get a lot of hairstyles to choose from damn I don't know which one to choose boom we are here in the world where's the music at there's like no music why is the UI so tiny bro i can't even see this i don't know the ui was just like defaulted on the tiniest possible <laughs> oh look at this there's a couple more things on the uh heroes mod bar here this looks very cool let's go ahead i'm gonna just toggle god mode for obvious reasons but let's get to what we want to see i'm in a master mode world here nope that's a lie i'm in a journeys mode world here boom let's get our little ship going i can't actually grab like the black spot but why would i do that look at that so we got the clicker class awesome beautiful to see if it's working correctly let's spawn in some enemies here boom blue slimes meet the umbral clicker i actually did just do a clicker class playthrough fairly recently so if you guys are gonna ask and you haven't seen that playthrough yet i probably won't be doing another clicker class playthrough even though it's 1.4 i did one way too recently to do another one all right i did install a natural disasters mod i want to see that in action i don't know like how you activate it or how it works here there's a scroll we can read maybe they don't even work okay the only things that work is earthquakes blackouts wait no do these all work there's hailstorms acid rain cold fronts floods solar flare tornadoes hurricanes thunderstorms vortexes lava rain and sinkholes sounds amazing okay it's cool please assign a hotkey to return i have to assign a hotkey to get out of the menu there's no way how did i just got out of it for a second oh there's an earthquake. Is this an earthquake? That sounds like more than an earthquake. I don't know. This is so cool though. This is the type of mod I need in Terraria. Amazing. I wonder how long it lasts. I want to see like a more dangerous one. This is pretty cool though. This is still really cool. Okay, damn bro. It's getting, it's getting a little crazy. The screen shake is going wild. It's still going. This has to be like a 20.0. All right, while this earthquake is still going, let's go ahead. Let's check out the next mod I installed. The Ophioid mod. Amazing. Let's see it in action. You know what I should do? Boom. I should do this. Add a certain weapon to my inventory there you go it finally stopped that was that was forever that took literally forever but yeah ophioid mod i made a video about this mod a long time ago so uh if you guys haven't seen that i don't know you could probably go find it somehow i don't know which one to spawn one of these spawns in a boss is it this one i think it's this one this mod adds in a boss that allows you to farm souls a little bit more easily very nice i hate farming in general most of the time so having something that makes it a little bit easier but also you know requires a little bit of a challenge is very nice in my opinion it's a good way to help solve boring farming yeah let's go ahead and try our best to kill it here it should be dead soon it looks very very cool and disgusting i guess i think it does have like a corruption type theme the ophiopede begins to metamorphosize well, look at that now it's a cocoon looks like an upside down pillar this is a super unique boss i don't know how much it's been updated since the last time i fought it we got the ophio fly now hey don't be running damn he's got lasers this is a cool boss fight look at my dude he's got his eyes closed he got pee pee in his eye a little icor in his eye Where, where'd the boss go you better not be metamorphosizing over here and boom boss is dead and look at that you get a bunch of souls beautiful love it great mod all right what else do we got here we have the stars above mod now if you guys don't remember the stars above mod it added in this guy the warrior of light really cool boss very very awesome boss okay we're not gonna well i don't know does it die fast 
kind of what if i just like turn the difficulty down a little bit oh it's on journeys mode already okay that's that's fine i don't know if i can sit here and fight him the whole time that, that might take too long but what, what else is there whoa there's this thing the bosses in this mod are so cool looking whoa 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 i'm getting sucked around what's going on right now were they fighting i think they were fighting or something the fabric of this very world begins to fray yeah something's going on in this world there has to be like a battle going on uh, i have like no control of my character i'm just floating around all right there we go wait maybe this is a part of the natural disaster mod i can't tell maybe this is like a like a vortex yeah this is a vortex okay so it wasn't the stars above mod oh look at that the zombies are getting sucked in too all their body parts are flying around this is amazing i'm starting to notice there's a lot of new clickers from the clicker class that would have been nice to have during the actual playthrough it's all fine though you know mods update they do that Maybe I do have to do a 1.4 clicker class playthrough soon then. But yeah, that's really all. I didn't really want to do a long video or anything. Just wanted to show off and tell people that Team Mod Loader 1.4 with mods is here. Is here. I don't know why I said Team Mod Loader with mods. Terraria 1.4 with mods is here. There you go. That's what I meant to say. It's still on alpha. If you want to learn how to download it and enable all the stuff, join the uh, Team Mod Loader Discord. I'll try and link that in the description because they'll have all the steps for it. And uh, it's probably going to be a while before we get like a very, you know, stable version with all the mods that you love coming out because it's completely understandable if uh, mod developers don't want to release their version or even update their version for the alpha. They want to wait until the stable full releases out makes sense now in terms of playthroughs on the channel i will try and complete the two playthroughs i have going on the spirit mod and the uh mod of redemption but they might turn into like stream episodes in terms of uh me just streaming to knock out a bunch of content in them it's usually easier for me to do stream series because it's a lot more like relaxed of an environment a lot more easy just to sit down and play the game and usually for my streams i have an editor doing too so like i don't have to think about it but yeah i will see y'all next time make sure to check out the team modeler 1.4 alpha is fun it's cool having mods in 1.4 this is what i've been wanting i've been wanting to play terraria 1.4 but with mods because i'm getting so bored of playing terraria 1.3 with mods and i'm kind of already bored of playing 1.4 vanilla honestly but yeah i'll see y'all next time